Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith uh, with the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you for joining us here today at the Frontier Regional Track and Field for this round of 32 game. We're in the state tournament now for boys soccer and this matchup today is the Frontier Red Hawks against the Manchester Essex Hornets. So Manchester Essex is the 27th seed, Frontier is the 5th seed, and we, we will be back in a few moments with the starting lineup, National Anthem, and the start of this game. Welcome to Frontier Regional for today's game between the Hornets of Manchester Essex and the Red Hawks of Frontier Regional. For today's starting lineup for the Hornets. Number two, Samuel Bothwell. Number four, Andrew Gagnon. Number five, Chase Copeland. Number six, Beckett Spencer. Number eight, Charles Langdorf. Number 10, Finnegan Lawler. Number 11, Jack Newton. Number 12, Finnegan Straub. Number 26, Owen Oliver Meehan. Number 27, Ali Oroden. Number 28, Logan D'Souza. And now the starting lineup for your Frontier Red Hawks. Number one, Owen Babb. Number five, Nicholas Pasulo. Number six, Namong Daytar. Number eight, Sean Min Song. Number nine, Brady Birch. Number 11, Matthew Seacar. Number 12, Jack Storm. Number 14, Max Ridge Valley. Number 15, Fernando Saravia. Number 17, Chun Hee Song. And number 18, Aiden Valderrama. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host for today, Mason Smith, and thank you all for joining us for this state tournament round of 32 matchup at Frontier Regional Track and Field. Today's matchup is the Frontier Red Hawks, who are the fifth seed in this tournament, and the Manchester Essex Hornets, who are the 27th seed. Frontier Red Hawks coming off a strong win against, uh, I believe it was East Hampton. No, it wasn't East Hampton, it was Mount Greylock, that's my bad. Uh, coming off a strong win against Mount Greylock a few days ago in which they uh, won the Western Mass Championship. So this is sure to be a good game. Just had starting lineups read out by Frontier's very own Mrs. Russell. And to start the game off for Frontier, Brady Birch in the middle of the circle. Pass back to Chan He. Ball popped up in the air, and a header by Jack Storm is going to go out of bounds. Hornets with the ball now, stolen by Brady Birch. Passes up to Nico Fasulo. And Hornets are going to clear it out of their end. Fernando 
Number five for the Hornets. Taken away by Chan He, pass in the middle, Chan Min, and a pass back to Jack Storm, who finds Aiden Valderrama on the sideline, who tries to pass it back to Jack Storm, but it's gonna go out of bounds. So a throw in for Frontier. Nice throw in, pass a couple defenders. Nico Fasulo has an opportunity early in the game, gets by the goalie. Oh, and it goes right by the far corner of the goal. So now Charlie Langendorf, who's the goalie for the Hornets, takes his goalie kick, fielded by, that was, Max Rajbali. Okay. Header by number six, 12. And Valderrama is going to come up with it for Frontier. Pass back to Jack Storm. Storm back to Valderrama, who's going to try and get it ahead to Fasulo, but it gets hit out of bounds. Another throw in from Valderrama to Fasulo, but it's going to get passed back up by Manchester Essex. Hornets with a chance now. There's number 10 going up the near sideline. And a whistle's blown after a shove by Finnegan Lawler, who, by the way, is a captain, one of the captains for the Hornets. So Daytar gets a free kick for Frontier, fielded by number six. 27 trying to get around Chan He. Chan He wins that battle. He's going to pass it up to Valderrama, who finds Fasulo in the middle of the field. Crossfield pass to Fernando. Looking for Chan He. He's going to find him. Chan He's going to lose a battle there. Ball stolen by the Hornets. Pass it up to Lawler. Lawler makes a good move around defenders, but Daytar's there to break it up. Rajbali kicks it out of bounds. But it's going to be off of a Hornets player, so... Frontier throwing up to the middle of the field. Header forward by the Hornets. Hornets pass it back to Andrew Gagnon. Valderrama with it now for the Red Hawks. Chan He, pass up. Valderrama's racing for it. And Langendorf is going to clear it out after a little bit of a miscommunication there, almost a collision between Langendorf and Logan D'Souza, who's a defender for the Hornets. So another goal kick for Langendorf. Who's gonna pass it to Captain Andrew Gagnon. Who's gonna Get it up to another captain, but it's going to be stolen by Chan He. And Fasulo can't handle the pass from Chan He. It's going to go right back to Langendorf. Who's going to roll it to Gagnon. Pass up by Gagnon, stopped by Chan Min. Valderrama pass forward. Is Fasulo going to get to it? He's not. So ball out on the Red Hawks. Gagnon takes the throw in to Beckett Spencer, who gets a nice pass all the way up on the Frontier side to Matt Stiles, who's going to clear it out. Out of bounds for Frontier, but it's going to be the Hornets ball. Hornets with the throw in now to Spencer. Gagnon, Spencer. Takes Fasulo's legs out, and it's going to be, it's going to say Hornets ball, but Daytar is going to clear that ball for Frontier. Nice little header there by D'Souza. Brady Birch trying to pass it up, but a couple Hornet defenders there. 
Tron He with the ball, finds Valderrama on the near sideline. Valderrama pass up to Fasulo. He's racing down the sideline. He's got himself in the corner now. A little trapped up against D'Souza and Hornets are gonna clear it out of the goalie box. But the ball's gonna be fielded by Chan Min and a bad pass to Chan He is gonna get intercepted by the Hornets. And Chase Copeland's gonna get tripped up. Ball stolen by Frontier. Brady Birch with it now, pass back to Chan Min. Finds Fasulo across the midfield. Fasulo looking for a pass. Can't find it. Shot on goal is going to go right to Langendorf, and he's going to stop it. Just under 34 minutes left in this first half. Game remains scoreless, but here's Fasulo for Frontier, just outside the goalie box. D'Souza clears it out. Out of bounds, and Jack Storm's going to take the throw in for Frontier. Storm looking for Valderrama. But D'Souza's there, and it's going to go out of bounds on D'Souza. Valderrama throwing to Fasulo, makes a nice little move there. And a centering pass, not really a pass, but fielded by Langendorf and shot down the field. Matt Stiles is going to try and clear it out, but it's just going to go out of bounds. So a Hornets throwing, and sub coming in for the Hornets. Chase Copeland's coming out, and Finn Berkland is coming in for him. Copeland might be a little injured. He's holding his left thigh. Hopefully nothing too serious. Red Ox with the ball now. But a pass up from the Hornets. Going to go nowhere as Styles clears it out to Fasulo. D'Souza trying to pass it up. Valderrama there. Going to boot it up the field. Fasulo racing for it against D'Souza. D'Souza gets there first and passes it out of bounds. So it's going to be a throw in for Frontier. Valderrama is going to take it. There's the throw in. Right to the center of the goalie box. D'Souza's there, but Brady Birch is going to take it off the pass. Pass to Chan He. Valderrama on the near sideline. Up to Fasulo. Tries to center it, but it's going to get deflected off of D'Souza. And it's going to be a corner kick for Frontier. First corner of the game. Frontier's got two defenders back in case something goes wrong. Hornets have their captain, Finnegan Lawler, there as well. And the ball's going to go out of bounds on the Hornets. So another corner kick. A redo, you might call it. Fernando pass to Chan He. It's going to go nowhere again. Yet another corner kick for Frontier. So what Frontier's doing here is there, Fernando's passing it to Chan He, and that's what they wanted to see. Fernando gets the pass off, trying to send it to Brady Birch on the far side, and it's gonna go out of bounds. Is that gonna be another corner? Yep, it's gonna be another corner for Frontier. So from one side of the field to the other, this is Frontier's fourth corner in a row. Valderrama's going to take it now. Sends it right into the middle of the goalie box and the ball's going to bounce right into Langendorf's hands. Langendorf, who's only a sophomore by the way, uh, is going to punt the ball to around midfield. It's going to get kicked around back and forth. Daytar's going to come up with it. And Finn Berkland trying to push the ball up for the Hornets. Owen Babb's gonna come to the very edge of the goalie box and his first time touching the ball in this game. Babb, who's also a sophomore, clears the ball out for Frontier. Whistle blown. So 
so ball's going to get sent back for a free kick for the Hornets. I assume that was about the uh, header. I think that was between Brady Birch. Might have been number 11 for the Hornets. But here's uh, Hornets defensive line trying to clear it out. Not very successfully. Fernando gets a shot on goal, scooped up by Langendorf. Shot was taken from uh, the far corner of the goalie box. Langendorf trying to clear it out. It's going to get fielded by Chan Min, who comes up with the ball. Pass up to Fasulo. Birch with it now. Pass back to Chan He. Makes a nice little move there. Pushes it up. And the ball is going to get cleared by Gagnon. It's going to get sent right back by Matt Stiles, but it's going to get stopped by number 14, who's going to pass it up. Owen Babs right there, though. And the ball is going to go out of bounds on number 14. That's Berkland. Max Rajbali takes the throw in for Frontier. Unsuccessful header there for both teams. Uh, Hornet's going to come up with the ball. Frontier fighting for it, though. Nice pass by Berkland. Fernando's there for Frontier. Rajbali passes up along the sideline. Crossfield pass by Jack Newton. So it's going to be a throw in for Frontier. Valderrama trying to find Fasulo, and Gagnon's going to kick it out of bounds. Another throw in for Frontier. Valderrama will take it again. Finds Chan He on the baseline. Centering pass. Fernando tries to take a shot, and it's going to get cleared by Beckett Spencer. Rajbali's there. Can't quite handle it. And Chan Min passes it back, and there's going to be an offsides called on, I think that's 14? No, that's 10. Uh, that's on Finnegan Lawler. So a free kick for Frontier going to be taken by Matt Stiles. Matt Seacard. Jeez, why have I been saying Stiles? <laughs> Matt Seacard. Um... Chan He with a shot right through the field goal posts. Manchester Essex, number 20, that's Charles Symes on the sideline. Having a bit of fun. So, goalie kick for Langendorf. Um. We've got 26 minutes left in the first half. Scoreless game still. Kicks fielded by Seacard. Pass up by Rajbali. He finds Birch on the far sideline. Birch pushing forward, looking for a pass. Makes a move to the middle. And a shot on goal right into the chest of Langendorf. What a great play by Birch. Coach Billsbury for the Hornets signaling to Langendorf to slow it down a little bit, take his time. That's good advice. There's Seacard with a header to Chan Min. Fernando, Rajbali. Throw in by the Hornets, taken by Fernando. Chan Min right there, pass back to Storm. Storm. Long pass down the sideline is going to stay in bounds into the goalie box now. D'Souza is there. And the ball is going to get shot out of bounds by Langendorf. Throw in by Valderrama. He's going to get a pass from Fasulo just outside the goalie box. He's in the corner now. Makes a couple good moves. Fasulo trying to pass it to the middle and it's going to go out of bounds. Hits the outside of the net. And a goalie kick for Langendorf.
There's the kick from Langendorf. Pass up by Seacard to Fernando. Tron Min with it now. Pass back to Daytar. Daytar trying to find Tron He. Tron He up to Fasulo. Tron Min. Can't get it to Birch, so it's going to get stolen by the Hornets. Tron He takes the ball away from the Hornets. Pass up, trying to find Birch, but it's a little too far ahead of him. It's going to get scooped up by Langendorf. There's the boot from Langendorf. Right to Chan Min, who's going to stop it. Daytar, Storm, finds Chan Min again. Chan Min, pass up, and it's going to go right to Langendorf. Scoops it up. And that's going to go to Samuel Bothwell. Bothwell pass back. Now it's going to go up to Storm, who's going to put it forward for Fasulo. Nice little move there from Fasulo. He's going to stop the pass up. But there's Gagnon. Clears it out. Header by Jack Storm. Pass up to Bothwell. Looks like it's going to go out of bounds, and it is. So that's going to be a goalie kick for Owen Babb. And subs are coming in for both teams. Number 27, that's Ali Erdogan for the Hornets. And number 19, David Gray for the Red Hawks, coming in for Max Rajbali. There's the kick from Bab. And a whistle blown. Free kick for Frontier. It's going to be taken by Daytar, just past midfield. It's going to go just over Chan Min's head. Cleared out by the Hornets, almost to midfield, but Gray's going to send it right back down, straight into Langendorf's hands. Langendorf sends it right to Chan Min, to Fasulo, a little bit behind Birch, so it's going to get taken back by the Hornets. We're going to try and clear it out. Chan He's there to take the ball away from him. Nice pass up to Fernando. Fernando gets swarmed. Ball is sent down the far sideline. And Lawler can't get there fast enough. But it's, the ball's going to go out of bounds on Frontier. So it's going to be a throw in for the Hornets. Just over Seacard's head. And Frontier is going to get it out of the goalie box. Brady Birch with a nice little floater pass over the head of a Hornet defender who's going to pass it to Langendorf. Langendorf shoots it down the field. And David Gray is going to try to clear it out for Frontier unsuccessfully. And a long shot on goal from Chase Copeland is going to go right into the hands of Owen Babb. 20 minutes left in the half as Owen Babb sends it down the field right in front of Brady Birch. Birch with the ball now. Pass up. It's going to get stopped by Gagnon. Daytar stops Gagnon's pass. David Gray with the ball now. Makes a little move, but he can't get it past Chase Copeland. It's going to be out on Copeland, though, so... Gray is going to take the throw in. Ben Cachuango coming in for the Red Hawks. And a couple subs that I didn't catch are coming in for the Hornets. 
Fernando with the ball now for Frontier on the far sideline. Tries to pass it up to Birch, but it's going to go out of bounds. So a throw in for the Hornets. Sent up to Lawler. C cards there. And there's uh, Olivia, Owen Olivier Meehan. Just going to send it back to Langendorf. Valderrama with the ball now for Frontier. Tronman, pass to Cachuango. Finds Valderrama. Tron He, back to Valderrama. Fasulo. And it's going to get cleared out by D'Souza. Gray with the throw in now for Frontier. Finds Fernando on the far sideline. Pass up to Birch, who's not going to be able to keep it in bounds. So, goal kick for Langendorf. Langendorf's had to handle the ball a lot so far in this first half, which doesn't speak well to the Hornets' defense. On the other hand, Owen Babb has only gotten his hands on the ball five or so times, I'd say. But here's a chance for the Hornets as the ball goes out of bounds on the Red Hawks and the ball is in their territory. Gagnon takes the throw in, sends it up to Lawler, but it's gonna get intercepted by Gray, who's gonna kick it down the far sideline and Birch can't get to it fast enough before it goes out of bounds. Gagnon with a throw in now for the Hornets. Pass up, trying to get it to Lawler. Daytar with the ball now. Makes a move past Bothwell. Cachuango shoots the ball up to Chan He, who deflects it to Valderrama. Ball's going to go out of bounds on Frontier. And the Hornets take the throw in way too far upfield. Devin Niles in the wings, waiting to come in at the next stoppage of play. Pass up to Bothwell. He's going to keep it in, one on one with Cachuango. He works himself into the corner, pass in, and a nice deflection there by Beckett Spencer. But he can't get it into the goal, hits off the outside of it. And there's Niles coming in for Fasulo for Frontier. Bab's gonna take a goal kick for Frontier. Sends it down the field in Niles' direction. It's gonna go over his head though. Birch is there to stop a pass from the Hornets. Working his way around a couple defenders, centering pass. And the ball goes into the goal, but it's, it's called off. It's called off by the ref. So what happened was Brady Birch had worked his way up through the goalie box, past a few defenders, had a nice centering pass, but it went right to Langendorf. And as Langendorf was covering it, Niles kicked the ball and it went into the goal. So that would have been a goal, but it was waved off by the refs. Good call in my book. And Langendorf, no doubt, is a little bit shaken up after that. But here he is, clearing the ball. Right to Chan He. Fernando, pass up to Birch, far sideline. Birch makes a move around a defender, looking for a centering pass. He's not going to get it. It's going to get stopped. Can he keep the ball in bounds? And he does. Pass back to Fernando, who's going to try and find someone, but he can't. Good defensive play there by Gagnon. And a whistle's going to be blown. Looks like it's going to be a free kick for the Hornets, which is going to be taken by Langendorf. Two subs waiting in the wings for the Hornets. Number 12, Finnegan Straub, and 17, Ernest Taylor. 
Free kick by Langendorf. Goes out of bounds. Here come the subs in for number 20, Charles Symes, and number 5, Chase Copeland. Thrown by Gagnon. Goes to Spencer, who is going to knock over Chan Min, and the whistle is going to be blown. Free kick for Frontier. That's going to be taken by Seacard. And Lawler, no, it's going to be taken by Daytar. Lawler looking to stop the kick. He's not going to. But a header forward by number 17 for the Hornets. Tron, he's going to field the ball, though. Nice move there. Pass back to Daytar. Sam Bothwell gets the ball. And as the ball goes out of bounds, Daytar slide tackles Bothwell, knocking them to the ground. Seems all right, though. So a throw in for the Hornets. Going to be taken by Finn Berkland. Berkland. Valderrama tries to clear. It's going to be passed back by D'Souza. But Valderrama has the ball now. Gets knocked down by Berkland, who's going to pass it up to Bothwell. Cachuango, nice defensive play there. Tron He trying to make a move around Bothwell. Pass back to Cachuango, who's going to clear it out to the middle of the field. Tron He. There's Berkland again for the Hornets. Passes it up to Lawler. Cachuango with it now. Valderrama. Who's on the ground. Clearly injured. Don't know why the refs didn't stop it beforehand. But, all right. So... Number four, Jesse Kirkalonis, subs in for Valderrama. And Brady Birch has the ball now on the far sideline. Tries to make a move around Gagnon. He can't, but the ball goes out on Gagnon. So he's going to throw the ball in to Niles. Still on the far sideline. Niles, cross field pass to Kirkalonis, who stops it before it goes out of bounds. Kirkalonis. Back across the field to Fernando. Tries to take a shot. It's going to get blocked by Gagnon. And the ball goes out of bounds on Frontier. Gagnon with a throw in to Erdogan. Pass back to Gagnon. He's going to shoot it down the field over Seacard's head. Daytar's there. Pass up to Chan Min. Gray to Fernando. Gagnon sends it back for the Hornets. Tron He with it now. Pass up to the field. Niles is there. Niles is all alone. He's going to pass it to Birch with a beautiful header right into the goal. Pass Langendorf. And the score is going to be 1-0 Frontier. Beautiful setup by Niles to Frontier's captain, Brady Birch. Goal scored by Brady Birch. So, first goal of the game by Brady Birch, assisted by Devin Niles, is going to put Frontier ahead in this round of 32 game. The Hornets have it back, though. They're going to pass the ball up. Cachuango's there. Bothwell intercepts a pass. Ball gets sent up in the air. Header by Chan He. And there's Seacard to clear it for the Red Hawks. It's going to get headed back in Bab's direction by the Hornets. D'Souza. D'Souza's pass headed by Cachuango. Nice move by Bothwell. He's working his way up the baseline, but it goes out of bounds. So it's going to be a goal kick for Owen Babb. Stressful moment there for Frontier, especially after the goal they've been working for.
There's the kick from Bab, just past Brady Birch. And the ball is going to get cleared out for Frontier by Seacard, who finds Niles. Passes the ball up the far sideline. Fernando's going to get to it, but not in time. It rolls out of bounds. Sub comes in. Number five, Chase Copeland, comes on as Ernest Taylor comes off for the Hornets. Gagnon with it now. Passes it up to Lawler. Lawler works his way past Gray. Can't seem to shake him. And a nice slide tackle there by Seacard. It's going to knock the ball out of bounds, but it's going to be out on the Hornets. So a throw by Frontier. Fielded by Finnegan Straub. Pass up to Bothwell. Chan He knocked around a little bit by Lawler. Lawler's still fighting with it, with uh, Chase Copeland. Niles with it now. Tries to pass it up to Kirk Alonis. Pass gets intercepted and sent up to Bothwell. Centering pass. Lawler with it now. Loses the ball to Chan He. Niles tries to clear it. No one's there. Daytar intercepts a pass. Gets it up to Kirk Alonis, who makes a nice move in between the legs of, that was Beckett Spencer. Fernando with the ball now for Frontier on the far sideline. Gets it in between two defenders. Birch, pass up to Fernando. They've got an opportunity, and the shot's going to go right over the top of the goal. Great defensive play there by Logan D'Souza. but the ball is going to be out on D'Souza, so it's going to be a frontier corner. It looks like they're going to do the same thing as before. Fernando kicks it into the middle of the goalie box, and it's going to get headed out of bounds by, I believe that was Brady Birch. Number nine, Samuel Porter coming in for the Hornets. Birch trying to put pressure on Gagnon. He's going to pass it up to Spencer. Finds Bothwell. Bothwell makes a move around Sean He. Erdogan's there. Bothwell passes to D'Souza. Excuse me. Uh, Olivier Meehan. Frontier passes up to Birch. D'Souza's there to intercept it. And Langendorf clears it out. Nice header by Cachuango to get it down the field for Frontier. Erdogan tries to clear it out. Takes the ball from Chan He. Passes up to Lawler. Lawler to Bothwell on the near sideline against Cachuango. Ball gets passed up to Erdogan. Daytar with the ball now in the corner. And the ball goes off of Erdogan. Daytar throws it in to Chan He. Just over six minutes left in this half. And the ball gets sent up by Frontier and out of bounds. So a throw in for the Hornets as they're down one to nothing. Gagnon's going to take it on the near side. To Erdogan. Tries to pass it to Bothwell. Intercepted by Chan He. Sent to Niles in the middle of the field. Nice pass up to Fernando. Is he going to be able to make it to it? He does. Centering pass in front of the goal. Kirk Alonis is there to get it. He's going to try and pass it back into the middle. It's going to get blocked by Gagnon. Sent up to Bothwell. Bothwell makes a move. Try to get around Chan He, but he can't. It's going to be out of bounds on Chan He. Ball gets tossed back to Gagnon, who's going to take the throw in. Sends it to Erdogan. Erdogan passes it back to Gagnon. Bothwell. Bothwell to Erdogan. Erdogan. Ball gets to Lawler, but it gets sent up into the air. Tronman's there for Frontier, and it gets sent out of bounds on the Hornets. Subs are going to come in for both teams. Number 14, Finn Berkland for the Hornets, and number 16, Kaiser Yath is going to come in for Brady Birch for Frontier. 
So David Gray is going to take the throw in for Frontier. Throws it back to Matt Seacard, who kicks it up to Kirk Alonis. Kirk Alonis tries to get it past the defender, slips and falls on the wet grass. Erdogan, pass up. Tron, he's, Tron Min's there to Fernando. Fernando isn't going to get anywhere. There's Copeland with the ball, and a whistle's blown. Fernando doesn't seem too happy about that. But it's going to be a free kick for the Hornets. Taken by Olivia Meehan. Headed out of the goalie box by David Gray. There's Tron Min. Tries to pass it up to Kirk Alonis a little too far ahead. Bothwell gets the ball for the Hornets. Makes a move on Cachuango, but it doesn't phase him. However, the ball does go out of bounds on Cachuango, so Bothwell is going to take the corner kick for the Hornets as Finn Berkland ties his shoe a little ways down the field. Hornets make a move. Nice stop by Owen Babb, and it's going to get cleared out by Daytar. Devin Nile is there. Frontier is going to try and catch the Hornets. Try and surprise them. There's Kaizik with it now on the near sideline. But it's going to get hit out of bounds. Nice defense there by D'Souza. Berglund's going to take the throw in for the Hornets. Just three minutes left in the half as Kirk Alonis sends it upfield. Kaizik fields it. Daytar with the ball now. Sends it back down the field in Niles' direction. Header by D'Souza, unsuccessful. Niles with the ball now. He's all alone. Takes a shot on goal, and it's in. All by himself, Devin Niles. Gets Frontier's second goal as time winds down in this, second, in this first half. Devin Niles, unassisted. Niles has a goal and assist in this game now. 2.38 goal left in the Devin half. Niles. And Coach Billsbury for Manchester Essex is no doubt unhappy with his team right now, but Frontier showing the Hornets why they're the fifth seed in this state tournament. Sean Min tries to pass it up. It's going to get intercepted by Spencer. Fernando with it now for Frontier. Pass back to Gray. Gray back to Fernando, who can't handle the pass. It's going to get sent up to Berkland. Tries to get it to Lawler. But the ball is taken by Chan Min, who works his way up the middle of the field. No defenders on him. And his pass up, no doubt, to Kaizik Yath gets scooped up by Langendorf. Langendorf kicked to the middle of the field, taken by Lawler. Lawler makes a nice move. But the ball gets scooped up by Owen Babb. We are under two minutes now in the first half. Babb takes his time with it. Sends it down the field to Kaizik Yath. Yath to Fernando. Gray, Fernando. Fernando makes a nice move around a defender there. Sends it up the field just past Niles. And Niles gets tripped up by Olivier Meehan. And Valderrama is going to come back in. Aiden Valderrama, after coming off the field a while back with what appeared to be an injured leg, is going to come back on. Subbing in for Jesse Kirkalonis. Pass down the field for the Hornets. It's going to get past 
Finnegan Lawler. Throw in for Frontier, taken by David Gray. Gets it to Yath. Yath tries to pass it up to Niles. And there's the half, ladies and gentlemen. So after 40 minutes of play, Frontier is going to come out on top at the half. Two to nothing. And Manchester Essex's coach, Rob Billsbury, needs to come up with something if he wants to get his team back in this game. We are going to be right back in just a few minutes with the last 40 minutes of this round of 32 game in this MIAA state tournament. I'm Mason Smith, and you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, if you're just joining us now, the score is 2 to nothing. Frontier on top of the Manchester Essex Hornets in this round of 32 state tournament game. If the Hornets want to stay in this game, let's hope that their coach, Rob Billsbury, gave them some good advice during the half. But it seems like Frontier is staying dominant as Fernando works his way up the sideline past the defender. And his centering pass gets blocked, knocked out of bounds by number 26, Owen Olivier Meehan. So it's going to be a corner kick for Frontier right at the start of this Second half. Valderrama is going to take it. No doubt pass it to Fernando, which is what both teams have been doing throughout this game. No, Valderrama is just going to kick it in. C-Card tries to head it in. It's going to go off his chest, it looked like, and right to the Hornets goalie, Langendorf, who sends it down the field and gets it right in front of Chase Copeland. That was a great pass, but going to go right out of bounds. Max Rajbali with the throw in for Frontier tries to find Fasulo, and it's going to get headed out of bounds by Erdogan. Fernando... Finds Fasulo off the throw, and Fasulo back to Fernando. Crossfield pass to Valderrama, who gets a pass off to Chan He, trying to find his way around to Souza, and he does get stopped. And Chan Min's pass is going to go out of bounds on the baseline, so it's going to be a goal kick for Langendorf. Pass to Gagnon from Langendorf, who's going to send it down the field to Lawler. Spencer tries to head it up, gets stopped by a couple frontier defensemen. There's Tron He tries to pass it up to Brady Birch. It's going to get stopped by Finnegan Straub. And a whistle's blown right as an opportunity emerges for Finnegan Lawler after he tripped up Matt Seacard. So Seacard gets the free kick. There it is. Right into the foot of Erdogan, who's going to pass it to Bothwell. Bothwell with the ball now, who passes it up to Spencer. Back to D'Souza. And oh my goodness. Huge effort there from Valderrama, and he ends up wrapping his legs around the shoulder of that Gagnon. No card there, but a free kick for Gagnon. That was an interesting occurrence right there. And Beckett Spencer gets knocked down off of that free kick before the ball even reached him. That seemed unwarranted. Here's a 
Rajbali with the ball now, tries to pass it up to Fernando. It's going to go out of bounds. Jack Newton throws the ball in. Nice header there by Seacard. Up to Birch. It's going to get passed out to Spencer. Back to Gagnon, who sends it up to Lawler. But Daytar's right there to clear it back out to Brady Birch for Frontier. Tron He gets the ball after a little struggle from Birch. Fernando with the ball now for Frontier, working his way down the near sideline. Goes back a little bit, pass back to Chan Min. Cross field to Valderrama, who can't keep it in bounds. And so a throw in for Andrew Gagnon for the Hornets. Into Beck Beckett Spencer. Jack Storm. Clears it out for the Red Hawks. Out of bounds. Gagnon going to take the throw in again. To Sam Bothwell. It's going to get taken by Valderrama. Birch with the ball now. He's going to pass it up. Gagnon gets knocked down again. And a nice slide there by Valderrama is going to take the ball out of bounds. But it's going to be out on... The Hornets. So it's going to be another corner kick for the Red Hawks. Going to be taken by Fernando this time. And there's Chan He with it. Whistle's blown. And it's going to be a free kick for Gagnon right in the corner. And he's going to try and pass it up to Bothwell. But Brady Birch is right there. He makes a nice move around D'Souza. And shot on goal goes right into the chest of Langendorf. Langendorf shoots it down the field. Nice header by Lawler. Gets it over defenders. And it's going to go. Going to get scooped up by Owen Babb. Who hurls it down the field. Right to Chan He. He's going to try and pass it up to Fasulo, but goes out of bounds. Gagnon with the throw in for the Hornets. He's going to have to run back a little bit. Throw in gets by Erdogan to Chan Min. Pass up to Fasulo. Fasulo trying to find Fernando on the near side. He does, but it's going to get kicked out of bounds by number 11, Jack Newton. Thrown by Fernando to Chan Min. Goes back out on the Hornets. Rajbali, throw in, gets headed by Erdogan. Lawler, pass up to the far side of the field. Jack Storm and Bothwell are going to have to fight for it, and it goes out of bounds off of Jack Storm, is what the ref's called. There's a throw in by Bothwell. And the ball gets cleared out by Seacard. D'Souza with it now. Pass to Straub. Newton. And a shot just wide of the goal is going to get caught out of the air. Grabbed out of the air by Owen Babb. He sends it down the field. Gagnon fields it. And Valderrama is right there for the throw in for Frontier. He's going to send it down the far side of the field. Fasulo's right there trying to make a move around to Souza. He's going to get a centering pass off, and Fernando's there for it. Fernando trying to work his way through a couple defenders on the baseline, and he can't get a good shot off. So it's going to be a goal kick for Langendorf. <laughs> And that's Finn Berkland coming in for Chase Copeland. Langendorf with a kick here. Line drive to midfield. It's going to get stopped by Daytar. And Tron He gets squeezed in between two Hornets players. 
whistle's blown as he gets knocked down. So it's going to be a free kick for Frontier, and Daytar's going to take it. Starting to rain again now, a light rain, and that no doubt is going to affect the play on the field. It was raining earlier. Opportunity by Brady Birch here in the goal box. Whistle's blown. So it's going to be a goal kick for Langendorf. And oh, Olivier Meehan looking for a penalty after quite a strong push by Brady Birch. Olivier Meehan rolled out of bounds. Kick from Langendorf gets taken by Fernando, headed by Newton. Tron He with it now for the Red Hawks. Valderrama tries to center it, but it's going to get deflected out of bounds by Gagnon. Valderrama throw in to Tron He, gets his way in between two defenders. Nice move there, and the ball's going to roll out of bounds. Just under 30 minutes left in this game. Frontier is still up 2 to nothing, and they're keeping the pressure on Langendorf and the Hornets' defense. What the Hornets need to do right now is figure out a way to break down Frontier's offense. And then once they figure that out, they can start thinking about getting their way through Frontier's defense, which they have been able to do on occasion. Seacard passes it up to Fasulo. Fasulo gets knocked down. Birch with the ball now for Frontier. Gets around a couple defenders. Pass back to Fernando. Smart play there. He's going to shoot the ball across the field to Valderrama. And Valderrama can't get a shot off. So the ball's going to get cleared out by the Hornets. Daytar's there. Pass to Chan Min. He's going to keep it. Pass to Fernando. Birch back to Fernando. Fasulo. Can't get the pass off to Fernando, who had an opportunity there in the middle of the goalie box. John Min trying to do a little tightrope back there unsuccessfully. Newton with the throw in for the Hornets. Looks like the ball kind of slipped out of his hand there. You can definitely see that the rain is affecting the players and the game. Fasulo getting swarmed by Hornets. And Bothwell with the ball now. Passes it up to Berkland. Berkland, right? Yes. And the ball gets sent up by Berkland. Daytar's there, but so is Lawler. Daytar tries to pass the ball up to Jack Stormer. Gets knocked down. So Daytar is going to get a free kick. No doubt Storm was knocked down more by the wet grass than the player, but no card drawn, so not that it matters all that much. Nice strong kick from Daytar. Sends it down in the direction Frontier wants. Seacard misses the kick. He gets almost tackled by Beckett Spencer. Spencer with the ball now and a shove by Valderrama very clearly. And so that's gonna be a free kick for the Hornets in a dangerous territory for Frontier. Frontier's coach Evan Horton shouting out commands, and the wall works this time for Frontier. A low kick by Bothwell gets stopped by a couple Frontier players. Fernando is alone on the side of the field, and the ball gets away from him. It's going to go out of bounds. An incredible opportunity for Frontier lost right there. Thrown by Newton for the, Hor for the Hornets. Frontier sends the ball down to Langendorf. 
He had the ball in his hands and it got knocked out. And the play gets blown dead. Refs don't seem too happy about this. Yelling at Coach Horton is what it looked like. I could be wrong. But... It's going to be a goal kick for Langendorf with just over 25 minutes left in the game. The Hornets need to come up with something quick if they want to even tie this game. We've seen crazier things happen, though. But here's Chan He. Pass up to Birch, who stays on side. Shot on goal goes off the post. I'm surprised that Langendorf didn't dive for that. Bothwell fighting for the ball loses to Chan He, who makes a nice little spin move there. As I think that was, yeah, Olivier Meehan. Slide tackles him in a nice knockdown save by Langendorf. He gets a kickoff down the field. Raj Bali's there to field it. But Berkland sends it up, tries to get it to Lawler. But Seacard kicks it down the field for Frontier. Fasulo racing for it. He's going to beat it. Langendorf to it, but an incredible slide by Langendorf. It's going to eliminate any chance that Fasulo had at scoring right there. Tronman slips as he passes. Birch with the ball now. And the ball is going to get sent back down the field by the Hornets. Daytar with it now. Nice play by Berkland. He's all alone, though. He's not getting any help. And so Rajbali is going to be able to clear it to Fasulo. And Fasulo passes it up down the field. Fernando's there. He keeps it in bounds, barely makes a move between two defenders, gets the shot off, and it rolls right into the hands of Langendorf. The Hornets need a lot more help on offense. They've had a couple opportunities where they could have made something happen, like just a few moments ago with Berkland, but there was no one in front of him or even to the side. Lawler was just behind him, and he wasn't even trying to catch up. Fasulo in the goalie box now. Ball gets cleared out to Bothwell, who passes it to Lawler, tries to get it to Berkland, but it's not going to work. Fernando with the ball on the near sideline. In the corner, shot on goal, gets headed out by Olivier Meehan. Nice defensive play by number 26. Jack Storm shoots it down the field for Frontier. Brady Birch. Fernando with it now. Raj Bali tries to pass it up to Birch, but it goes out of bounds. Sam, Sam Porter coming in for the Hornets. Ball is out of bounds on the Red Hawks. Whistle's blown a couple times. Sub's going to come in for the Hornets. So after a good game, Ali Erdogan's going to come off. Not sure who subbed in for him, but that's, that one's on me. Spencer passes it up. This is the kind of offense that Manchester Essex wants to see. Berkland on the near side against Rajbali. Rajbali's going to have to kick it out of bounds. That was Spencer, I was right. Rajbali, not Rajbali, my bad. Berkland, going to take the throw in for the Hornets. Number 20, Charles Symes comes in. And there's Lawler who passes it back to Berkland. Tron Min's there. Fernando clears it out to Birch. Sent back by Olivier Meehan. Gagnon with it now for the Hornets. Pass back to D'Souza. Birch sends it up. 
to Fasulo. Fasulo's alone. He's got an opportunity here. There's no goalie. Fernando tried to pass it to Fasulo instead of taking the shot, and it goes out of bounds. An incredible opportunity for Frontier. Just a bad pass, and it goes down the drain. Olivia Meehan comes off for the Hornets. Sam Bothwell passes it up to Lawler, who slips a little bit on the grass. Storm's going to send it up the field to Birch. Raj Bali can't pass it up to Fernando. And it's going to be Sam Porter's throwing. Raj Bali's there to field it for the Red Hawks. Birch with it now. Pass up. Sees Valderrama. Gets it to him. And Valderrama's going to pass it back to Chan He. Valderrama fighting for the ball. That's against. Charles Symes, Valderrama gets it, centering pass. Tries to get it headed out by number nine. Fernando's there. Tries to make a move around him. Pass up to Fasulo. Fasulo's got Fernando in the middle, but only for a moment. Makes a nice move around Gagnon. Ball gets stopped by number nine. Cleared out by Gagnon. And here's Berkland with it now for the Hornets with just under 20 minutes left. And Fasulo with a nice effort there. Ball's gonna get knocked out of bounds. It's gonna stay the Hornets ball though. So Berkland with a throw in. Looking for Lawler. Headed forward. C card. Gets it up to Fernando. Porter shoots it forward. There's Erdogan against Chan He. Chan He's gonna get it past Erdogan. And it's gonna get sent up. Fernando racing down the sideline. And it's gonna go out of bounds. Looked like on Fernando. Subs coming in. Owen Olivier Meehan, Ben Cachawango, Jesse Kirkalonis, and David Gray. All for Frontier except for Olivier Meehan. Getting pretty windy here too in South Deerfield. Ball's gonna get deflected out of bounds by Nico Fasulo. Throw in by Porter. Taken by Brady Birch, and Brady Birch with his second goal of the day for Frontier. Unassisted, I believe. He stole the ball, got an opportunity in the middle of the goalie box. And now it's 3-0 Frontier, and hope is all but gone for the Manchester Essex Hornets. A great game for the Frontier captain, though. One goal by Devin Niles and two by Brady Birch, making it 3-0 Frontier with 17 and a half left to play in the game. D'Souza tries to clear it out for the Hornets, sent back by Seacard. Olivia Meehan's there, but Fernando is going to pass it to Birch. Birch up to Fernando, who's in the corner now, is going to send it up to the goal and wrapped up by Langendorf. Langendorf takes it to the top of the goal box, goalie box. Sends it down to midfield. Here's an opportunity for the Hornets as it goes down the sideline. Oh, and it's going to escape him. Goes out of bounds. There's Ben Cachuango for the throw in for Frontier. Daytar is going to try and send it down the field. A little bit of a whiff kick there, unless that was intentional. Berkland tries to pass it up 
to Taylor, but it's going to get intercepted by Tron Min up to Tron He. D'Souza with it now. Erdogan taken by Tron Min up to Birch. Fernando at the baseline, centering pass to Birch. And the shot's going to go wide and out of bounds on the sideline. So that's going to be Charles Rubens taking the throw in. Fernando with a header, tries to get it to Birch. It's not there. It's going to get cleared out. And Lawler's trying to beat Daytar to it. He gets grabbed by Daytar and a shot on goal by Bothwell. Powerful shot there, but it's going to be wide. I'm really not sure why there wasn't a penalty called there on Daytar. That was a pretty obvious grab, and it prevented Lawler from getting to the ball when he really needed to. But I don't imagine that it would matter too much as Frontier is up 3 to nothing. And Owen Babb takes his goalie kick. Sends it to Fasulo down the field. There's Birch. He's going to send it to the far sideline to Kirk Alonis, but it's going to go out of bounds. No, my bad. That was a handball. So it's going to be a free kick taken by Gagnon. Fielded by Gray. Chan He with it now. Pass up to Birch. Back to Chan He. And D'Souza with it now. And the whistle blown, not sure why. But it's gonna be a free kick taken by Olivier Meehan, sent down to the middle of the field. Nice header there. And an opportunity now for the Hornets as Owen Babb isn't in goal, but there he is to wrap the ball up. He sends it down the field to Kirk Alonis. The ball's going to get intercepted, sent up to Taylor. Taylor along the near sideline. Sent back to Olivier Meehan. There's Taylor with a bad header, and it goes out of bounds. Throwing is going to be taken by David Gray. Diego Frazier is going to come in for Tron Min as well as Eric Larson for Frontier. Both, I believe, are freshmen. Larson passed to Tron He, going to be taken by the Hornets, passed up to Bothwell. He's going to get to it in time, stops it before it goes out of bounds, one-on-one -on -one with Kachawango. And Tron He's going to come in from the side and it's going to get knocked out of bounds. Lawler's going to take the throw in for Nope, not a throw. It's going to be a corner. Lather's going to take the corner for the Hornets. Under 13 minutes now for the Hornets to pull off some kind of miracle. I could start here. There's the shot in from Bothwell. Kirk Alonis gets it. Gagnon, pass into the goalie box and it's gonna go right into the hands of Owen Babb. Babb sends it down the field, right down the middle to Fasulo. Birch has it now. Birch up the field to Larson, but it's gonna be out of bounds. Gray heads it forward for a frontier. Fasulo. Takes a slow shot on goal. Scooped up by Langendorf. Kick by Langendorf. It's gonna get sent down the field and Babs gonna wave off the defenders as he scoops it up. Long throw down the field all the way to midfield by Owen Babb. 
headed to Kirk Alonis by Diego Frazier. Ball goes out of bounds on the Hornets. Throw in by Cachuango. Pass up by Bothwell. Goes out of bounds off of, I think that was Frazier. Bothwell going to take the front. Nope, Gagnon. Just over the head of Spencer there. Daytar, pass back to Cachuango. Bad pass. There's a shot on goal. It's going to get past Owen Bad, but it's going to be just about a foot to the right of the goal. So a lucky break for Owen Babb there as we hit 10.30 left in the game. Babb's going to hit it down the field. There's Spen not Spencer, Berkland. Passes it up to Lawler and the ball's going to get kicked out of bounds by Matt Seacard. Thrown by number 18 for the Hornets. Berkland with it now. Pass back to Olivier Meehan, who sends it up. And it's going to get kicked out of bounds by Frazier, I believe. Chase Copeland with the throw in to Berkland. Berkland tries to get it back to throw the Copeland, but it's going to be a handball. Went off. His elbow, it looked like. That's what the refs are saying. David Gray takes the free kick for Frontier, sends it down the field. Brady Birch is right there. But so is D'Souza. Gray stops it from going out of bounds. Larson slips a little bit on the wet grass, but he recovers. He has the ball now, tries to get it to Frazier. Frazier swarmed by Berkland. Copeland's open on the other side of the field, signaling for it, but Bothwell doesn't see it. And a whistle's blown. Bothwell doesn't look too happy about it. And it's going to be a free kick for Matt Seacard. And a yellow card is going to get pulled on Beckett Spencer of the Hornets. He's gonna get subbed out. Charles Symes comes in for him. Not entirely sure what that is about, but I'd assume something to the effect of complaining about the call. No doubt it's happened several times. Otherwise that would be unwarranted. Fasulo getting a little upset. Bothwell with the ball now. Pass up to Berkland. Berkland back to Gagnon. Gagnon to Berkland. Finds Bothwell between two defenders. Bothwell tries to make a nice move, but it's going to get intercepted by Daytard. Kirk Alonis there fighting for the ball with Bothwell. Sent up the field by Olivier Meehan. There's Copeland, and the ball is going to get sent out of bounds by Eric Larson. Subs coming in. Ali Erdogan and Beckett Spencer comes back in after his yellow card. Berkland tries to get it to Erdogan. Not sure what kind of penalty Erdogan was asking for there against Larson, but throw in, trying to get it to Berkland. And the best that Berkland can do is try and pass it forward. It's going to get deflected out of bounds. It's going to be Frontier's ball, though, so David Gray is going to take the throw in, dry the ball off a little bit on his shirt. Throws it into Larson, but it's going to get hit out of bounds. Seven minutes left. 
and Coach Horton for the Red Hawks is reminding his team to keep their composure as time winds down in this game where they are ahead three to nothing. There's pass up by Newton, gonna go out of bounds. And a couple of subs are gonna come in for Frontier. TJ Donovan is gonna come in. Brady Birch, Nico Fasulo, and Jesse Kirk alone has come off. TJ Donovan, Kaiser Yath, and I believe I saw Aiden Valderrama come on too. Both teams seem to be sending in their second string players so they can get some playing time at the end of this game. Throwing gonna be taken for Frontier by Ben Cachuango. He's gonna get it up to Valderrama. Sends it over to Bothwell. Valderrama with a throw in up to Yath. Passes it back to Valderrama, trying to find Donovan up the field. And another sub coming in for the Hornets. Berkland gonna come off, and number 24, Connor Morgan, is gonna come on instead. Here's the goal kick from Langendorf, gonna go straight to Bothwell. Nice kick there. And Valderrama takes it away, but it's going to go out of bounds. So Gagnon throws it in. Nice header by Beckett Spencer. And Lawler can't get to it. Seems like he's almost not trying anymore. Valderrama with it now. Tries to get it across the field to Eric Larson. It's going to get intercepted by the Hornets, though. Bothwell with it now. Intercepted by the Red Hawks. Tron He has it. Bothwell gets it back on the far sideline. Pass to Erdogan. Back to Bothwell. Lawler. Pass gets intercepted by Cachuango. And there's a pass up by Newton to Spencer. Spencer makes a move around Gray. Centering pass. Lawler's not going to run to it. And it's going to get sent out of bounds. Newton's going to take the throw in. Looking for Lawler. He's got him. Pass to the middle of the goal. Gets stopped by Owen Babb. He was looking for Connor Morgan. And Babb with a pop fly to the center of the field. Kaizik's there, along with Donovan. And there's gonna be a stoppage of play, as it looks like Finnegan Straub got a little bit of a head injury there. He was holding his head. And the trainer's gonna come out onto the field. So, He's gonna stand up. He's gonna walk it off. He's not too badly injured. Looks like he might have gotten a cut on his head, maybe from a cleat. Could have been a lot worse though, so. It's always good to see him walking off. We're under five minutes now, and that's all I'm gonna be able to tell you until the game's over because we've got the officials on the field keeping the exact time. Free kick for Frontier taken by Daytar. Gonna be just wide of the goal. Langendorf gonna take a goal kick. Langendorf's kick, gonna get past Matt Seacard. 
Pass back to Owen Babb, who's going to almost get it to midfield. But D'Souza's not going to be able to keep a handle on it. Pass up to Morgan by Olivia Meehan. Valderrama gets the ball taken from him by Morgan, who tries to pass it to Bothwell, but Sean he's there. Morgan gets the ball back, slips on the grass, and the ball's going to end up with Valderrama, who's going to pass it across the field. A little bit behind Larson, but he's going to get it nonetheless. He's going to pass it back to Seacard. Seacard's going to find Sean He down the field. He's going to pass it across the field to Donovan, who lets Larson get it. Larson looking for someone. D'Souza's going to intercept it and clear the ball. D'Souza still has it now. Makes a move around Gray. And Larson's going to end up with it. Tries to pass it up to Donovan. It's going to get intercepted by Newton. Bothwell with it now for the Hornets. To Lawler. Who passes it right to Daytar. Not sure what he's doing. Not sure what Lawler's been doing this whole game, as a matter of fact. But here's Bothwell against Cachuango, who gets a shot off and a nice save there by Owen Babb. He's going to tip it out of bounds. And it's going to end up being a corner kick for the Hornets, as time, no doubt, is winding down. Logan D'Souza comes out after a fantastic game, I might add. Made a lot of incredible plays. Timeout called by Manchester Essex coach Rob Billsbury. No doubt he wants to make sure he gets this corner in. They're going to take a quick break, and so are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith, as time is winding down on this round of 32 state tournament game. And Rob Billsbury, coach for Manchester Essex, is making an interesting call here. He's pulled his goalie out of his box. Charlie Langendorf is on the opposite side of the field as they were trying to get a goal in the last few moments of this game. And Langendorf's going to run back to the other side of the field. I haven't seen that before. That is an interesting call, but logical considering the circumstances, that, that being behind 3 to nothing. And that is the final whistle of the game. Frontier Redhawks are going to move on to the round of 16 where they are going to play Linvo Tech, who are the number 12 seed in this state tournament. Just a quick recap. Owen Babb, again, not letting a single shot by him this whole game. And... Brady Birch, captain of the Frontier Red Hawks, gets two goals, one unassisted, one is going to be assisted by Devin Niles, and Devin Niles himself gets one of the three goals. An incredible game from both teams. A little shout out to Logan D'Souza, number 28 on the Manchester Essex Hornets, who had an incredible defensive game, had a couple good offensive plays as well. And that's going to be it for us on this Sunday afternoon. Frontier Redhawks come out on top, 3 nothing, moving on to the round of 16 in the MIAA State Tournament. I'm Mason Smith, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Hope you have a wonderful day. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Television. Okay. <laughs>
So, Nico, Matt. Matt, yeah. So, 3 0 win. How are oh, you yeah. guys feeling about it? Uh, we're excited about the next round. We're yeah. hoping. For Could a have played a little better, but, you know, it's always good to get the first one under your belt, and mm -hmm. it's going to be tougher along the way, but, you know, the first game, you don't know much about the team, so we did a good job putting it away. Yeah, yeah so you guys haven't played them before? No, no it's from? new team. Yeah, yeah. East, East team out East, so yeah, probably near Boston or North Shore. Uh, how about your like personal performances? How do you feel like the game went? I feel like we had a few issues in the back, but we pulled it together towards the end of the game, so that was good. Yeah. yeah. I had some opportunities I should have finished, but, you know, we'll get them next time. Yeah. yeah. You got it. It's a good mindset. All right, thanks, guys.